yes. beautiful sun, but we clearly did not get that here I today. No, we're tapping into some much needed rain. We need the rain. We don't want the rain. We've got some heavy rain earlier today that led to some street flooding across the city. Luckily, the city is trending dry right now, but tomorrow comes more rounds of rain and storms during the afternoon hour. So make sure you have those umbrellas and rain gear handy tomorrow. It's probably going to look similar today. It's still going to be hit or miss variety tomorrow, but we can get those downpours in the afternoon. With that comes our average summertime heat temperatures in the lower 90s throughout the rest of the work week and looking ahead to the weekend. It might get a little bit hotter and a little drier. Still, we'll have the storms around this weekend, but not as active as we will be tomorrow and Friday and actually today as well. Live radar conditions showing some rain and storms off to the west near Morgan City and Thibodeau seeing some showers right now. A closer look at the coast. A lot of it is fizzling out in our immediate area. The heavy stuff is off to the west, but throughout the rest of tonight, we can see some stray showers and storms like one has popped up over the lake right now. And the North Shore, we've got some hit or miss showers and storms in Washington Parish. So not a guarantee for everybody, but we can get the hit or miss variety type storms the rest of tonight. Not much, though. All of that will start to dwindle down later on. Temperatures in New Orleans right now sitting at 91 degrees. Feels like 103. The showers did help cool us off, but that was a few hours ago. We've already heated back up to the lower 90s. And of course, it's very humid outside. As for the rest of tonight, Showers and storms will start to wrap up later this evening. I think a couple stray showers might still linger over the next few hours. Temperatures will cool off to the mid and upper 70s to start tomorrow morning and winds will come mostly from the southwest and it's going to be a little breezy at times. Same goes for tomorrow, waking up warm and humid temperatures in the upper 70s. Mix of sunshine and clouds with high temperatures reaching the lower 90s. We do have the widespread rain and storms that will be popping up especially tomorrow afternoon after the lunch hour that will continue into the evening. Area wide high temperatures pretty consistent upper 80s, lower 90s. We'll take that right around what you would expect for this time of year. 92 New Orleans, 90 degrees in Covington and 88 in Hammond. Preci precision cast over the next few hours showing some showers and thunderstorms off to the north. That's where they are right now, which is in the Macomb area. That's probably where those stay just north of our area and just west, though there can be a few hit or miss showers and storms locally over the next few hours, though overnight will trend mostly dry and then early tomorrow morning. There might be a couple coastal showers that pop up, but I think it's the afternoon hours that we get the daytime heating. There's a lot of moisture at play right now, so we get the widespread rain and storms on tap tomorrow, and some of those can produce those localized flooding concerns like we saw today. So isolated flooding is possible tomorrow. Maybe some street flooding in one or two instances if those storms park out over one or two areas and can dump quite a bit of rain, which happens. It's just hard to say exactly where and exactly when. So we can see the heavier downpours possible tomorrow and maybe some brief gusty winds and a few storms. Quick look at the tropics. There are no new tropical developments expected over the next week, so we'll stay quiet. One of the reasons for that is there is a little bit of a Saharan dust event happening out in the central Atlantic Ocean. Some of that dust will make its way west. We can see a little bit of dust reaching our skies later this weekend, so it might be a little bit hazy out there Sunday through early next week, though not enough to cause any issues. Quick look at that seven day forecast showing temperatures in the mid 90s this weekend, so it is going to be hotter Saturday and Sunday, a little less stormy, though next week will stay hot and humid with scattered showers and storms, basically a daily thing we've got going on the rest of the week.